Test complete integration with Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source continuous integration or CI tool for automating your application build, test, and deployment activities. As automation testing continues to help organizations scale their software quality efforts, it is imperative that automated tests are also part of the CI pipeline to achieve true continuous delivery. Test Complete has a native Jenkins plugin that enables you to easily run in a Jenkins freestyle or pipelines CI job. First, let's install the plugin to our Jenkins server. Go to the plugin manager, locate the Test Complete support plugin, install it, and restart the server for the changes to come into effect. After our Jenkins server has been restarted, prepare your testing environment. Usually all build and test processes managed by Jenkins are run by Jenkins agents. We will use this agent to run our test complete tests. This workstation will be our Jenkins agent. To run test complete tests, Jenkins agents must have test complete or test execute installed. Test execute is a lightweight execution engine for test complete tests. In this workstation, we already have test complete installed. For your tests to be able to simulate user actions over the interface, an interactive session must be opened on the agents. You can open a session on agents manually or use test complete support plugin to open the session automatically before running tests. In this video, we will show you how to open user sessions automatically. To do this, configure your workstation. Open control panel and enable remote connections. Then select an account where uh, we'll run the tests and add it to the group of users who can open remote sessions. Then go to the group policy editor. Disable prompts for password and credentials. And disable network level authentication. Then enable negotiate layer for remote connections. And finally, disable secure sign-in. Please note that if your Jenkins agent is running on a server edition of Windows operating system, you will also need to restrict remote desktop to a single remote session. Another important thing is to remember the mode in which Jenkins agent is running. For your test to be able to interact with the user interface, the Jenkins agents must be in interactive mode. If your agent is running as a Windows application under a user account, you're fine. However, if your agent is running as a service, you need to configure it to run under the local system user account and then open a user session via the plugin. Next, let's place our test complete project to a location where the Jenkins agent can access it. The easiest way to achieve this is to store your test complete projects in a source control repository. It is also possible to place test complete projects to a shared network location and copy them to your agents. Now that all preparation is complete, let's run our tests. With our native Jenkins plugin, you can run tests as part of a freestyle job or of a pipeline. We'll start with the freestyle job. Enter a label associated with the agent. And add the test complete test build step to our project. Specify the test complete project suite that contains the test we want to run. Please note that the location here is relative to the Jenkins agents working folder. You can specify what you wish to run, an entire project suite, a specific project, or a specific test. We'll run the sample project in this case. There are a few optional settings that you can configure as well. For example, these settings specify how Jenkins should behave if our test reports have warnings or errors. And this setting allows opening an interactive session before testing starts. 
select this run interactive user session checkbox and enter the credentials under which the session will be opened. Select the type of test logs we want to get after the testing is done. This plugin can generate two types of test logs, the MHT log and the JUnit style log. In this case, let's select JUnit style report and leave the other step settings as their default values. You can find more information about all these settings in our documentation. We're ready to start the build. Wait till it is complete. And you can view test results on the test complete test results page of build results. Next, let's see how to run test complete tests as part of pipeline. Create a code snippet specifying the agent name and set the pipeline stage that will run the tests. Let's add code that will run our test complete tests. The easiest way to do this is to use a script generator. Select the test complete test step and configure it. Specify the project suite, the tests we want to run, and open a user session. Then generate the code and copy it to our pipeline script. Once again, for more information on pipeline syntax for running test complete tests, please see our documentation. Now let's start the pipeline manually and view the test results. This covers all the basic features of Jenkins integration with Test Complete. Thank you.